Okay, this is the first try of the Senna 10C. It uh, a, seems like a fairly nifty device. It is a uh, Bluetooth audio, phone, MP3 player, FM radio, uh, intercom, you know, helmet to helmet, and a video recorder, all kind of rolled into one. Fairly pricey little gadget. Uh, this is about 400 bucks, I think. And you're getting the first look at it. Well, we're both getting the first look at it, except I'm not getting a look at it. Um, <laughs> it's one of the possible downsides. There is no, as far as I could tell, any previewer, uh, any any you know way that you could sort of get a camera preview on a phone app or anything like that there's no preview on the device so you really have to kind of guess on the helmet attachment and how it's aimed and so forth so I think I'm just gonna go around the uh, around the block here uh, one thing I will mention with folks uh, <laughs> it does come with a lens cover um, <laughs> I just shot about, uh, I say this is the first try actually, it's sort of the second try. I just shot about 10 minutes of video and went and took the helmet off and looked at it and saw that I had neglected to remove the uh, lens cap. So, and just in case anybody's interested, I am riding a ZX-14R ABS. badass bike actually so but this uh, video is not about the bike it's about the Senate 10C I guess C stands for camera maybe they could have called it 10V I'm just gonna go up up and around and come back here break the shot to check out the limitations of the video and the camera I really don't want to do too much here because well I don't even know Right, I don't know if it looks good. The uh, install on the device was pretty straightforward. Um, I've had uh, all of the major uh, helmet, intercom, Bluetooth uh, devices. Scala, I guess, was my first. I had two of those, and they were fairly good. Um, there was a Blue Ant. One other one that, that escapes me right now. But neither of those were that good, uh, and they were fairly expensive too. Uh, I had another Senna that uh, actually I kind of, by my own fault, broke one of the attachment clips to the helmet. Ended up having to kind of rig it back together, and after I ended up rigging it, I thought, well, I probably need another one because the rigging may not last. And then rather than undo the rigging, I just went ahead and got a, another new helmet. Why not? Always an excuse to buy some more gear. This is uh, Central Texas, if anybody's uh, wondering where we're at. A um, little bit south of Austin. Uh, going through a little bedroom community known as Kyle, Texas. setup was, you know, not extremely intuitive, but, you know, not that, it wasn't, wasn't crazy. You do need to take the lens cap off, though. Our little 
quick turnarounds, but for whatever reason, all the construction around here seems like unusual accumulation of gravel through here. So you gotta have to squid your way through it. Well, you know. It's a fairly new ZX14. It's a great bike. I really don't want to wash it out on a couple of beads of gravel. gravel trick turn they close that road I guess there's not much uh, choice but to turn here this is back down the home stretch and pretty soon we'll get a look at what our Senna 10C looks like I hope. Mission accomplished. This time, I hope. <laughs> 